Hi everyone, I'm Tom Schuster and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the Google Maps Directions API and how you can use it to build cool apps in JavaScript. Um, so first, just to go over what we'll be talking about today, we're going to do a little quick review of what the Google Maps API is and how it's used. We're going to go over the different Google Map web services that are available to it so you can leverage a lot of the Google Maps geographic data to do a lot of cool things. And then we're going to do a little demo of how you can, um, well, we're going to walk through, uh, do a deeper dive into the Google Maps Directions API, and we'll do a, a demo of an app that I built in React using that. So pretty excited to show you that. Um, so Google Maps, we all know it very, very well. Um, for some of us, it's maybe the only way we know how to get anywhere. And I'm sure, as you've seen, pretty much any time you come across a map on the web, most likely it's using Google Maps. And is really easy to implement that. In fact, you know, you can do that. I, I, for a lot of times, sometimes it's just, you know, showing where a business is. Sometimes it's a lot, like a much more, a bigger part of the app's core functionality, like in Trulia. But um, anyone with any basic front end um, experience can do that. All you need to know is HTML, put an iframe in there with a free um, API key, and there you go. You'll have a map right up on the screen, and you can even, even with that, using just uh, URL parameters, you can do some cool customization, and you really don't even need to know how to code at all. Um, however, Google Maps does uh, provide a lot of other cool things you can do. So a bunch of the APIs they have included with um, their geographic data are the ge geocoding API, which allows you to convert between addresses and geographic coordinates. They have the places library, which basically gives you real-time information about millions of different locations and gives you some autocomplete input functionality that you can incorporate into your apps. And then there's also elevation data, which can give you an um, information on any point in the world regarding its elevation. Directions, which is what we'll be talking about a little more, which allows you to calculate distances and routes between multiple locations. Geolocation, which allows you to find people based on information from cell towers and Wi-Fi networks. And then there's a distance matrix, which basically just estimates distances between two points uh, by different modes of transportation. Um, so the directions API, um, just using the um, API endpoint, you can do a lot of things just using these simple URL parameters right here. So you know the only ones you need right now is you just need the origin, the destination, and the key. And just from that, you'll get a JSON response with a lot of detailed information that you can incorporate into your apps and do a lot of cool things with. Um, Many, many other things you'd incorporate there. Mode of transport, obviously, uh, whether you want to avoid traffic or not, arrival time. Traffic model, which is pretty cool, so you can do whether you're doing um, optimistic, pessimistic, or best guess. Um, and just to show you a little bit in um, Postman what those, respo what those uh, responses look like. So here we have all of our parameters right here. They take uh, plain string query, so you could just write like NYC. So let's say we want to go to Canada right now. That sounds pretty good. Um, and let's leave right now. And we'll drive and we'll set a pessimistic traffic model just so we you know, can know what time we'll get there, have a pretty good estimate. You send that and you're going to get a pretty long JSON response right here. It's going to give you some information about the places. It's going to give you bounds of the map. It's going to give you all these different legs of the journey right here with some coordinates names. It's going to give you these points, which are these really strange strings that um, Google Maps uses to render on the map. It gives you HTML versions of the instructions that you can use. Um, and yeah, it just keeps going and going and going. And it apparently will take us. We could get there before midnight if we left now. Um, you can also, if you'd like, just use um, lat long coordinates. Or you could also, if you have a Google Place ID, use that as well. But looking at this, I don't really know what to do with that. I'm sure most of you don't know what to do with that either. It's a lot of information. That's why, luckily, um, Google Maps has provided a JavaScript wrapper to their API, which many of us are familiar with. It's an early API that many developers are introduced to. Really easy to get started, just a few lines of code, and you have a map on your app that you can start manipulating using all the different class methods available. Um, so one of those methods that I'm going to talk about right now, uh, one of those classes I'm going to talk about is the Google Maps Direction API. So basically, um, this you can take places and you know, uh, make much more complex routes and trips than you can just using regular Google Maps, which can be really useful if you have 
um, a application where you have your own data mixed in as opposed to the regular Google Maps geographic data. Maybe you want hybrid routes where you have different modes of transport between them. Um, it's really easy to get set up. If you look right up here, we're initializing our map. Then you just, um, right here, let's say you want a, play, a way to be able to get the places on the map. Uh, you can add to any input element on your application an autocomplete form, which has access to all Google Map places. Just a few lines of code right there. You just initialize it, bind it to the map, and then add a listener um, on it. Oh, you, so you, you add it to a node, bind it to a map, and you add a listener to handle the input right there. Um, and then what you do is once you have those inputs, you can calculate the, this, uh, the directions using the direction service, and you can render it to the map using the renderer service. Um, and I use this, uh, I built an app recently using this and React um, using city bike data. So, you know, like I was saying, one of the ways you, one of the reasons you might want to use this is that there's a lot of good information on Google Maps. They have a lot of geographic data, but you might want to incorporate a uh, different API in there. So City Bike has an open API where they put all their live st station information right here. So here we have a City Bike app where you have all of the stations, real time, how many bikes are available, how many docks are available. You can switch back and forth between the docks to see how it renders here. And um, what I did is I built in a way is I wanted to say, okay, well, you know when you look for directions on Google Maps, if you say you want to use a subway, they'll say, okay, well, walk to the nearest subway station, take the subway to the stop nearest to your location, and then walk to the destination you're going to. I wanted to do the same thing using the city bike uh, infrastructure, basically. So what I did is um, I made it so we have, uh, remember that autocomplete thing I was telling you about with the places? We have that right up here. So you start typing, it'll tell your places. So let's say we want to go from Full Stack Academy and let's say we want a slice of pizza and we want to go to artichokes, right? That sounds good right now. So you go here and what you'll see is it builds a trip out for us with three different legs. If on the right, it's rendering the directions that we saw before in that JSON response. Um, first step is walking directions from Full Stack Academy to the station at Pearl Street and Hanover Square. Click on the start, we see that right there. Next step is biking directions from the station at Pearl Street to West 16th Street in the High Line. Let's go out and take a look at that. Looks like we're going up the Hudson River for most of that. And then you get there and it shows you walking directions right there. Um, and, you know, I thought one of the cool things about using this React and this app right here was that it was a little tricky to get started because um, Google Maps and React maybe doesn't go together naturally. But once you had it in there, you could really take advantage of you know, managing state through Redux to update a lot of things. So for example, the map instance itself and also um, the actual routes themselves, I was able to put into the Redux store, which is really useful because then you can decide like when to hide it or when to show it based on events that happen in your app, which might be a little more difficult to handle otherwise. Another cool thing, and I just wanted to show a little bit about the code, to make the markers actually update in time a little more um, efficiently, I was able to, what you're able to do is you can, let me just find the right one right here, uh, right over here, station marker. So, you know, on a componented update, you just check to see if its um, status has changed. And then if it is, you reset the icon. If not, you don't. Um, and even though it was a little more work to get it set up in the beginning, I think that like once it was up and running, it was actually really cool. And I think that you could, um, using React to Google Maps, you can do a lot of things that might be a lot more difficult to do otherwise. And even using the directions there, I think that you could like think of a lot of cool apps you could do, maybe thinking about like what if you wanted to do an errand map uh, app where you were setting different locations and it would just automatically calculate those things and remove them as you completed them. So. Uh, yeah, that was the app I built right there. Um, and, you know, once again, the ways you can use it, multi-leg trips, hybrid routes, interacting with data outside of Google Maps. And um, that's all I have. So thank you very much, everyone.